She's got that super pink twist and twirl, and she is swinging it like the ultimate Malibu girl. <laughs> Hello fellow doll lovers, Barbie Nation here. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning into another video with me today. My name is Aryan, aka Barbie Nation, and what I do is I collect dolls, I play with dolls, I talk about dolls, and every now and then I give them a super cute makeover. So if you're into anything cute, sweet, and petite, definitely subscribe to my channel to get some lovely pastel glitters on your feed. Now let's get into this Barbie Dream Besties Malibu today. Here we go. So I finally got my hands on Malibu, you guys. Yeah, it has cost me a minute, but I finally got her. So, Malibu. Wow. I am just, I am, so, she, she is rocking the Barbie core vibe so hard. And <laughs> I am really living for it because we all need that super strong Barbie core. That's, that's what sells. That's what we want. So they got the message. And she's got the letter B on literally everything she comes with. And it is just so awesome. So again, I did a comparison of the proportions of the Barbie Dream Besties and I actually did it all in Brooklyn's video. So if you wanna know if her clothes fit other dolls, check out Brooklyn's video because you can check out all of the comparison to other doll lines, outfits, shoes and accessories in that video. So let's head back to Malibu because uh, let's take a look at her. Okay, so right at the bat, I see saran hair, which I'm very happy about. I see a good length of hair. It is a little bit, well, not so crunchy as Teresa's hair was out of the box, but it could definitely use a wash. Um, so her outfit. Now I was wondering about this top, but is it actually a top? And these are separate gloves. So I thought at first they were, these were attached to the top, but that's not the case. There are separate gloves. Um, so that's cute. Uh, jeans, shorts, which I thought was a bit basic for her look, but I get the choice. If I would have styled with a top, which is this extra, I probably would have picked a more basic, uh, you know, short or skirt underneath myself. So I get the choice. Um, <clears throat> and her shoes, you guys. Oh, her shoes are everything. And I wish these shoes would come in like original Barbie size. Because Barbie shoe game for the, you know, original Barbie feet are just lacking. Um, but when I saw these shoes, I was like, oh, yes. And Teresa's shoes were also very cute. So, um, living, living for the super Barbie core shoes here. Um, she also comes with like sunglasses, which I think is a kind of like a little nod to 
the first Barbie that also came with these white sunglasses. And a cute heart necklace and what else is there to say, right? She is so freaking cute. <laughs> Barbie, Malibu, she wants to have her own makeup company. Yeah, she's a real girl boss and she's meaning business. Let's, let's check out her profile. So it says, Hi, I'm Barbie. I love experimenting with makeup and helping my friends look and feel their best. <laughs> Dream being the boss of my own makeup company. Favorite activities, makeup, crafting, camping. Favorite class, chemistry. Favorite color, pink. Favorite thing, my clutch. It holds everything. <laughs> See, I love these little like ID badges for these girls it gives them the sense of character who they are what they want to be their dreams you know their goals in life i i am eating it up but let's look at her accessories starting off with her phone i mean yeah this is her pink cute little phone and her barbie phone case which has kind of like this 80s flip phone vibe and her phone you guys it is so cute and what i think is so funny is like these little nudges to og barbie like her battery is at 59 percent because barbie is from 1959 and everything barbie that comes with a number is always 59 so that's funny and cute it says call on the bottom it says barbie left at the top and i'm living for this phone case so hard it, it's it's so barbie core the only problem is, is that the phone is just a little bit too big for the case, in my case. Okay, no pun intended. But yeah, I kind of struggle with getting the phone in the phone case because it's just too small for it. I don't know if you have the same issue with that, but I do. Next up is her letter B, I wanted to say comp powder. <laughs> and I literally forgot the word for what this is. I don't know. I'm just calling it a powder. So um, it comes with like this real cute like powder sponge thing. I'm not into makeup, so I do not know all these names. I'm sorry. Um, but it comes with like, you know, makeup mirror. So it's black. It's with the 80s letter B. I am obsessed. Same goes for her little lipstick, which actually opens, which is, of course, Barbie pink. And it has and it also has the Barbie letter B on it. And her clutch, which she refers to in her ID, which is this cute thing. It's like this clear, translucent, glittered thing with like the Barbie logo on it. I, I love it. But she kind of lies because it does not hold everything because her powder cannot go inside this thing, of course, because it's too big. And she also comes with this hand mirror how girly cute and pretty with the letter b i mean it's it's also giving me barbie extra a little bit so barbie malibu i mean barbie core all the way with her accessories with her look <sighs> wow it's gonna be hard to top this because she of course is getting her restyle because we just have to we owe it to this girl um but I mean, her hairstyle is cute. I love actually that she has these super crunchy waves in the front. <laughs> I was talking to Tina about it and she said it like in Dutch that she had a problem with her crocante loca. <laughs> I literally peed my pants when she said that because it, I don't know, for some reason it sounds just really funny in Dutch. Crispy, crunchy front pieces so um let's get to the salon and give this barbie dream besties malibu doll her barbie nation makeover here we go <laughs> Thank you. 
All I can say about this lookbook is simply just... Aww. Anyway, as you might have guessed, I really wanted to keep it like super Barbie core and uh, really wanted to incorporate like at least two shades of pink in every look. So I think I pretty much succeeded in that challenge. So I really enjoyed like all of the looks. It was super hard to pick like a final look for her, but uh, I ended up keeping her in this Miss Celebrate look. I just thought it looked so cute. It's so celebratory. It's so Barbie. I just really love it. But let's just go over these looks one by one. We started out with Miss Darling, which was just adorable and just a little romantic fairy tale on its own. I loved seeing her in this evening gown. It looked so good on her and it slowly transformed into this dance with my mini me in his slick tux. He made her feel like a princess. She made him feel like a prince and they lived happily ever after. Yeah. So then we had that little romantic moment. Then we had over to the super house dancey 90s Vogue moment. Yeah. That outfit really brought me back to like Madonna Vogue 90s music video era. It was, yeah, it gave me all the feels. So I was really, so that's why I actually kind of made that into kind of like a music video-ish. Yeah. I just really enjoyed putting that bit together. And then we had the uh, pop star uh, Malabeat moment. I just actually grabbed some pastel pieces together and voila, she just exploded as a super kawaii pastel K-pop pop star um, with my lovely backup dancers. It was just, it was, it was just fun. It was just fun, fun, fun. <laughs> And um, the last look, the Miss Celebrate look, really, I mean, I just love that look so much. And I was really doubting if I wanted to keep her in that K-pop pop star look or if I wanted to keep her in the Miss Celebrate look. It was super hard to choose, but I just, I don't know, I just could not resist. I mean, I love this skirt so much. I love the whole vibe. I love the barbiness of it and maybe I do want to adjust her hair just a little bit more. I'm not quite sure. There's something, I know it feels like something is still missing about this look and I could not pinpoint it till this very moment. And then all of a sudden on a very random moment, probably while I'm in the shower or something and then I'm like, that's it. <laughs> <sighs> Malibu, Malibu, Barbie Dream Besties, what a surprise and how fun is it that we can use all of these Rainbow High and LOL OMG clothes. I am just... So last but not least is Ms. Renee. I still need to get her, yeah. Because of course now we have to do them all. So of course I'm also going to get Renee. So be on the lookout for Renee in the near future for a cute lookbook for her. So as always, of course, let me know which look was your favorite. Did you love Dolly Darling? Did you also live for the Vogue moment? Or did you love the Miss Celebrate moment? Or were you totally into the pastel K-pop pop star? Let's continue the conversation down in the comments below. And I will see you all in my next video. Okay, so that's it for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And of course, click the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified by any new videos that I upload. You can also follow me on Instagram at Barbie Nation. That's usually where I post all of my updates. And until the next video, big kisses from me. And I love you all.